Hi everyone, it's Teresa with Crafty with Teresa. Thank you so much for joining me today. Well, today we're going to look at how to make several cute Christmas cards featuring reindeers. Now, if you've been watching me, you know I like to give you tons of options. So, and any time I can, I like to give you options that do not break the bank. First, let's take a look at some of the products. Early on as a demonstrator, we get to see some sneak peeks of the items coming out in the mini catalog, and I knew I wanted to do a few things with the Reindeer Days designer series paper and sticker sheet. Well, our crafting club voted to use it for our scrapbook layouts, then, lo and behold, Stampin' Up! created a scrapbook layout kit, which is even more adorable. Now that kit is available now, so if you're a scrapbooker, I'd jump on over to the Stampin' Up! website. I'd love it if you'd use my host code, which is in the description box below, and grab that kit. So our club will now use some of the designer series paper in our scrapbook layouts, and we'll also use some to make cards. So in this video, you'll see several options. We're going to show how to make a card with just paper, how to make a card with just a stamp set and inks, a card with your stamp and die cut bundle along with inks, and last but not least, a card with the paper, the inks, the stamp and die set, and oh, you know, we have to add in some embossing and some bling bling. So enough of my chatting, let's get to crafting. Before I forget, I actually grabbed the design idea from page 22 of the annual catalog. I started taping this video on Friday the 13th, so why not use the card sketch number 13? In the first card, we're going to take a look at how we can design a cute card with your basic supplies and mostly just use up that cute paper. So for my beginners, you'll need some paper, some glue, and some smaller intricate scissors to do what we call fussy cutting. That's it. Now let's take a look at the papers, cut them up start creating our design. The first paper that we'll cut is the larger trees with the tiny reindeer. We'll cut that paper to four by five and a quarter. And you'll see that we also end up using both sides of this paper to save with money, save our little paper, and make it a lot easier. On the back side of that paper are the smaller trees. Next, we'll cut up a piece of crumb cake cardstock to four and a quarter by five and a half. We'll end up doing some tearing with that as well. So while I fidget and fidget, I'm going to play a little bit of music and add some notes inside here to kind of give you an idea of how this is going to come together. As I said, it's cost effective and easy peasy, as my grandkids say. Now, let's take a look. Now here I'm just trying to line it up and this is where I actually made the decision to go ahead and use both sides of the paper. I just felt like it was too much with all the trees so I swapped it. I do that quite often. Now I'm going to grab those large trees and I'm actually going to fussy cut them 
basically what that means is you're going to cut around those edges when I'm doing my what's called fussy cutting is I kind of move my scissors back and forth. I don't move the paper as much as I do the scissors and I feel like that makes it easier to get into those grooves. I'm actually making the limbs work a little bit and trying to cut off a little bit of that background color so that it's not showing up as well. So I'll wiggle back and forth until I get the limb look I like. Say that three times. I'm not sure I can do it again three times. So again, I'll jump in here as I see opportunities to give you some notes. One thing I did want to point out, that deer is actually from a different piece of the designer series paper and that is another one that I just basically fussy cut. Although in the stamps and dies there are some deers. That one in particular was one I fussy cut because I was trying to show you that you can just use paper here and make a really cute card. So now I'll wiggle back and forth, try to find the look I'm looking for. And once I get it, I will grab some dimensionals. In this case, it's a dimensional sheet that I cut in strips. I will actually cut the strips in a long strip. I'll put that on the back of the tree and I'll put it on lightly because I'm going to move it a little bit back and forth so that I can wedge that other tree, the smaller green tree, on the inside of the other lighter green trees, which I believe that color right there is Mossy Meadow. Once I have them where I want them, I'll actually put that down. But before I do that, I'm going to glue this base piece together. With my torn pieces, I'll glue it on top of the crumb cake, which is four and a quarter by five and a half. And then I'll wiggle them around until I get them where I want them and then remove that backing paper of the dimensional and this card is finished. What do you think? I think it turned out super cute. Now, as I showed earlier, here again is the stamp and die set. It's called Reindeer Fun. I happen to have the stamp and die set. However, for card number two that we're going to be showing here today, we're only going to use the stamp and some inks for this card. Again, I'm trying to think about what could be cost effective for you, so buying the stamp set works for most of the crafting budgets. So I'll show you how we make this card with just those few items. We'll start with a piece of four by five and a quarter inch cardstock. In this case, it's called White Willow, and we'll use that as our base. We'll use three Stampin' Spots to make this card. The first one we'll use is Early Espresso. So I grabbed that cute little reindeer that's hopping, or maybe it's flying, I'm not sure. But it's cute as a button, right? We'll throw it onto a pretty large stamp block. I'll pat it down with some of that Early Espresso ink and we'll put that right in the middle of this landscape card. We'll stamp it down, we'll give it a few seconds to transfer the ink and then we'll lift it up gently. Now I'm trying to make this one a little easy but I did want to show you that you could change it up a bit. You could maybe put a red nose on the front of the reindeer for the little kiddos because it kind of would make you think of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. I think that would be cute also. This 
next? I thought we'd create a landscape design behind our cute little reindeer and then go ahead and add in a sentiment. We'll grab the cute little pine tree and attach it to a block and just kind of do some stamping and stamping off here on a scratch piece of paper. I'm not sure exactly how I want these to look yet, so I'll just keep working with it until I get the design I want. Now on the tree itself, it has a star on top. So I'm trying to decide, do I want to leave the stars on when I stamp in my mossy meadow or do I want to color that star? So in the end, I did decide I would use a post-it note and cover it for now and then figure out what to color the star later. Because I have it in my stash, I can easily color the star with stamp and write markers or alcohol markers or even a colored pencil. Before I put the trees on though, I need to add my sentiment. I grabbed the sentiment, may all your days be full of cheer. I thought that worked out really well with that cute little jumping reindeer. I inked it up with a real red stampin' spot and then tested it out on some scratch paper first. And then once I liked it and I was sure that it was straight, I'll go ahead and stamp it on my card panel. And I think it's stamped great. So now that we've finished our sentiment, we'll grab that pine tree and we'll use our mossy meadow stamp and spot and dab that ink onto the tree and go ahead and stamp it on our card panel and use the method we talked about, which was full strength and stamping off. And we'll just kind of come up with a cute little landscape design. Now, if you've been watching my channel, you know that I like to throw in other cards as I go. But the purpose of today's video was to show you how you could make cute cards pretty cost effective. However, if you have supplies like I have on hand, I'm going to give you a look at cards 3 and 4 that I stepped up a bit with items taken from my stash. So take a look and let me know what you think. Card number one, here's another look at card number one, and here's a look at the final of card number two. Card number three, I used the stamp set with dies and inks and added in a swiping technique to give it a nice border. Card number four, we used the stamp and die set bundle along with inks and we'll add in some embossing lines on the corner with some sparkly red strips for our bling bling. So hopefully these cards gave you some ideas and inspiration. So, so easy to put together and simple and clean. And for me, sometimes I think that works best. So just some quick coming soon plans. I'm working on some card kits that I recently received from the Paper Pumpkin Kit from Stampin' Up. You'll see the fall cards and hopefully I'll have time to show you some of the alternate designs also. As well as... The next few weeks I'll be tied up working on scrapbook layouts, 
So stay tuned. I may even show a few of those in some of my upcoming videos. So once again, if you haven't subscribed, I'd love for you to subscribe and I'd love to hear from you with any likes and comments. That helps my YouTube channel and it helps me to know and grow to understand what you might want to see in the future. So until next time, have a great day.